Well, how do their chums? As you can see behind me, you can see that the community expedition has now sort of ended. Um, it's all sort of greyed out anyway. So if I jump into my actual save on PC, hopefully uh, it may convert to a normal save. Let's jump on in and let's see if that's the case, people inside the viewer bar, shall we? There we go. So if I come back out of there and hit on up, you can see that I've been playing for six hours on PC. Yeah, quite new to PC in playing. And let's get loaded in. Now this can take a little while to load in through the actual star field, so I'll be back with you in a bit. Well, would you look at this, chums? I've logged in, and yes, it's saying, do you want to accept? Yes, I do. I do want to accept. So hopefully that's now changed my save into a normal save. If I jump in my ship, out of my ship, can I now go into options and change the difficulty? I can! I can put it back to creative mode. Heck yes! I'm going to go into the creative mode before I hit up another expedition. I'm going to fly on up to the station and I'm going to S-class this ship. I'm going to put a load of slots in this ship. I am a happy bunny. That worked. Awesome. And then I might engage on a new expedition or something like that on this PC save and slowly get this PC save up to standard of where I am on PlayStation 5. I've got an incoming message. That's going to be good old whoever he is who's lost. Artemis or whatever his name is, probably. So, yeah, I can even do the main quest lines now, like the old Art Atlas Path, the Artemis quest line, Traces of Metal. Oh, I've got a world of enjoyment to have over here on PC. So I'm planning to do PC saves in between my PlayStation 5 stuff. So whenever there's a new update, I'll jump over to the PlayStation 5, get that up to, up to standard, do all the guides, all that sort of stuff, because that's my legacy save. And then when it's quiet, and I've done all that on the P on the PlayStation 5, I'll jump over to PC, and I'm going to continue with this little mini adventure separately. Heck yes, we will. Right, anyway. So I want to fully upgrade this staff as well. I want this staff to be all S-classed. Heck yes. Now, I've done all this countless times before. I mean, I could do the hard graft and the hard grind, but I just want the basics, people. I just want the basics. Here we go. So here we are. Let's get that upgraded. And to be on honest, it, it's going to be... It's going to be me getting loads of nanites, and there's there's so many ways to get nanites, and none of them are all that much fun, really, are they? So here we go. Let's um, let's do this. Uh, purchase new slot. Let's do that. Let's get them all in. Brilliant. Oh, there's the boosted slot. Another boosted slot. Sweet. Oh, another row. I've got the timing right now. There you go. I was just hammer it like a man possessed a minute ago. It didn't work well. You get the timing right, you can get it done nice and quickly. Freaking awesome! Fuck yours. Head on over here. Let's get this up to S-Class. Upgrade Starship. Upgrade Class. Why is it not letting me upgrade Class? Is it already S? Okay. Apply Augmentation. Mm, I guess it is. It's not showing what class my ship is right now. Max class reached. Okay, it must be an S class then. Yeah, get the timing right. Boom, 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 boom. Heck yes! Lovely jubbly. Get all these in. Hold on, hasn't finished the technology. I'm going to put the rest of the technology in. Oh, look at that. There's a whole other layer there. Lovely. Now, on PlayStation 5, I also want to get the best piratey freighter or dreadnought that I can. So when it comes over to PlayStation, I've got that to look forward to doing. It, it That didn't feel right. It felt like it, it stopped a few slots early. Look, what was it? That's mashed slots, is it? Okay, fine. Brilliant. Then my multi tool is S. My starship is S. Nice. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that. So we've got those up to S class. I mean, I could go and buy all the modules as well that I want and leave it in creative mode as I do so. But I think maybe I will buy these the legit way. Let's just see what's in here while it's still in creative mode. And let's just see if there is one or two freebies that I can have. Yeah, go on. I'll have that.
There you go. I've got one module for free, mate. Heck yes. Oh, what about my old multi-tool? What's inside my multi-tool at the moment? Can I get a couple of free S classes? Go on, give us a couple of free S classes. Go. You know you want to. Free, just a couple. There we are. Let's go to here then. Purchase upgrades. Mining laser beam. Don't know whether I need it, but we're having it. And we're having the scanner one. There we go. We've got a couple of freebies. Everyone likes a freebie. Heck, freebie, yes. So this is just a very quick video to let you know that you can actually change the modes, which is pretty darn lovely. And uh, You know what? Those modules that I just got, the freebies, I might use those to hit on up the next expedition. So here we go. Let's go into difficulty then. Let's put that back to normal. Now, I'm going to choose expeditions to run that I haven't got the things that they offer up so the things that i really want is the viking armor set that's the next thing that i want so i'm going to do the expedition that's offering the viking armor set is what i'm thinking people so let's start calling the old nexus <laughs> and we're going to use these module that i just picked up there for free in the next expedition we do now, I have got the No Man's Sky Assistant app installed, and the No Man's Sky Assistant app conveniently shows you all the rewards. So if I go into here, where was it? Expedition Seasons. There's all the seasons right there inside the app. There you go. I'll make myself a little bit bigger on the screen for a second, people. There we go. Let's um, pop on over here. Uh, wrong, wrong screen. Make myself a little bit bigger. Me, oh, me. There we are. Right, so if I go to season... Oh, that's Reduxes. We don't want the Reduxes. We just want the normal seasons. So season one, Pioneers. I've just hit the Pioneers. And then we can look at the rewards that was inside of Pioneers. It was the Golden Vector that was a reward inside of there. I'm fairly sure there was other things inside of here, wasn't there? But yeah, rewards, Golden Vector. So it's probably not that one then. So if I go to season two, rewards... Uh, I don't think it's showing all the rewards. I don't think it's showing all the rewards anyway. Season 3. It's just showing the last thing that you get. And I need to see what it is inside of the full thing. So, hmm. I don't know whether it shows you inside of this new terminal. Let's go and have a look. Maybe I'm wasting my time there. Let's just jump back over into the old game. In game mode. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. PC gaming. Chicka boom. I'm back on the old screen. Let's run over. Let's have a look at this console. I mean, I could just choose one at random, but no. I want to try and get myself the Viking armor set. That's what I'm after, people. So let's go in over here. Let's see if there's an easy way to spot what the rewards are for each expedition. Let's have a look. So if I was to select a new... Yeah, I've done all that. I've done all that. Finished. A new journey will begin soon. Oh... I thought you could just run any expedition whenever you want from this. That's what I thought. I'm sure it said that you, this will give you the ability to run all the back catalogue of expeditions. Well, maybe I'm wrong then. All right. Great. Um, I'm sure I read that in the patch notes that we could run any expedition previous or whatever. Eh. Oh, well, I must be wrong on that then, people. So I guess I'm not going to be running expeditions in between save, unless that's something that's still to come. Did I read that wrong? Hold on one second, people. We're going to go read the website. Oh, for fudge's sake. Stop. OK, chums, maybe I interpreted this wrong the first time I read it. It says expeditions can now be started from the space anomaly as well as from the mode select screen. It doesn't say the back catalogue of expeditions. It just says expeditions. But because it's got the S on the end and it's it almost feels like it's plural. I just assumed it meant all expeditions would be there and you could just choose whichever you wanted, run it whenever you want. So there was no need for the reduxes at Christmas times. That's not the case. Yeah, starting the expedition from the space anomaly allows players to carry aspects of their character and progress into the expedition, as well as taking this progress back to the main save when the expedition is over. Okay. So maybe when they do the reduxes, we can do them from that console, but right now they're not just available whenever you want to do them. They're only available as and when they come up to run. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Fine. All right. That, that, it's still pretty darn cool. It just means that now, in between when there's nothing else to do, rather than do another expedition, I will just do the main quests, like the traces of metal and things like that, and still get my character up to standard. Well, that's a bit of a shame, though. I'm a bit gutted about that. Anyway, you can see all these tabs all the way across the top here. I've been watching Sean Murray like a hawk today. Assistant to No Man's Sky. I've had the No Man's Sky depots open, so I've been hitting these up to see if they've actually updated. Waiting for this one to go, or for public to go. I guess. Been checking Nintendo. I've been checking over on PSN. So yeah, still $39.99. Been checking over on the old Xbox. Let's just give them a quick refresh. The Nintendo one keeps breaking for some reason. Um, it just goes up like that. Oh, there, $39.99. No change there. No change there. And no change there. Checking the Hello Games tube to see if a new video has popped. There we go. Here to refresh on there. And nope. Light no fire. Still the same one. Release log. Checking this out to see if that's actually changed. And just to refresh this one, I'm just hitting in between news and release log. Nothing new there. And that's pretty much that, people inside the viewerverse. Oh yes, and if you do want to keep up to date with stuff, I have been putting it all on my community tab over here. There's an awesome video by Ghostlight that talks about another sort of Atlas path that's been added in. It's very much based around the star seeds. So you might want to go and hit that one up. It might contain the loose spoilers, but at the moment it only seems that the first two steps of that mission is in there. Uh, the structure covered this the other day as well. Um, so there's a few people that have actually come across this inside the game files and done that deep dive. Yeah, take a look. It's interesting. Very interesting, I guess. Anyway, people, I think that's pretty much all I've got for you right now. So yeah, there isn't... Sorry, I clicked the wrong button, didn't I? <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. So yeah, anyway, people... That's everything that I've got for you right now. And yeah, sorry about that abrupt ending. So I will, I will keep you posted though. If anything comes into the verse, I was I was thinking that something would happen today, but it might be that it happens tomorrow. Or if not tomorrow, I think it's not gonna happen until next week, people. But anyway, at least the expedition has come to an end and I can now end off my expedition, jump, jump game modes whenever I wish, and I can be playing on my PC save. I've also tweaked my graphics settings, so thank you very much for your suggestions about turning on DLSSS and all that sort of shenanigans. Done that, and it is running a bit smoother, so thank you very much for your suggestions about my graphics enhancements. So yeah, I will continue my PC playthrough, and also doing a bit of Power World. Until next time, people in the viewers, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.